today I'm satisfied because I'm pumped up about a great run and stuff and I know probably takes till tomorrow morning and then I'll be like super pissed about everything like not even thinking about the run anymore but just the negative things and but maybe you need that going into the last five weeks of uh, Kona prep I think if you too happy <laughs> you're not a good athlete sometimes Yeah, I wish I would not need to talk too much about the swim. Um, the start was absolutely horrible. Um, I mean, it was horrible for everybody because uh, you, I don't know, you have to run to some sort of rock garden for the first like four or five meters, um, which is not very confident, uh, comfortable, especially for me. I mean, it was the only time and the last time I'm gonna mention my rolled ankle. That's the only time when uh, it was not like really nice because I was really afraid to whatever twist it again and um, completely fuck it up and um, therefore I was yeah walking like an old granny um, into the water and that was like already very crucial five seconds lost I guess and then I don't know what happened because <laughs> I actually felt quite good in the swim um, I felt like I'm doing really great like really probably one of the best feelings I ever had in the swim. <laughs> yeah, until, until I finally exited the water and I heard the first split like 3 minutes 30 and I was like, that's 1 minute 30, that's not too bad. And then the next guy said like, 3 minutes 40 and I was like, yeah, 3? Is that like, 3 minutes? Oh, I love my bike, um, it's absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, it's not riding itself. <laughs> um, yeah, of course it was kind of difficult to get into the right mindset again because I already knew like, oh, this is gonna be really difficult to, to catch these guys. I mean, I know it's actually impossible to catch these guys. And to find like the right mindset was more difficult than to find the legs because the legs were actually quite good. I mean, uh, it's really a difficult task because I agreed with my coach and uh, also know, knew what I had, what I can do on this course and what I had to do on this course. And um, uh, I just tried to really uh, ride. Um, with my power meter in in uh, with my watch in my uh, in my mind and uh, um, which is not the way I want to ride usually I want to like, attack and I think I probably should have attacked a little bit more but then on the other hand um, when you're alone pretty much on the on the bike the whole time then beside Bart Arnold's actually um, he was really uh, sharing some work which was great because otherwise I think I was, would have not made it to the finish at one point. Um, yeah, it was just difficult to, um, uh, to, to stay focused and uh, stay motivated and um, yeah, that's about the bike. I mean, it was good, not great. Yeah, um, yeah. 
The highlight was definitely the run. I wasn't really imagine myself running faster than uh, Blumfeld, um, Brownlee and Gomez in this race. Um, uh, like a 30 or something like that was by far the fastest run I've ever done, I think, in a middle distance race on an accurate course actually. Um, I was really surprised by that and um, also another athlete helped me a lot. I mean that was for sure Javi Gomez, it was a great um, just boost for, uh, for the second lap when he caught up and um, have, yeah, did, did like lead work for like 10, 10 Ks pretty much or 8 Ks in the front and then and he was struggling a little bit and I thought like okay I'm gonna share the work a little bit and then um, yeah, I think I still had something, something to give, and that's also the positive things I thing I take out of the of the race is uh, just my legs, like muscles and everything, are really on fire. Like they are really good and uh, make me smile. Even talk about it. Um, also, energy system is really good. I uh, didn't felt like I I gonna die anytime soon when I was on the run. It was more like. Oh, I'm gonna run out of real estate to probably attack the podium and um, <clears throat> so that's the positive things and the swim is just a catastrophe I don't know what what happened there maybe it was because of the the altitude and um, the timing was I knew I knew that the timing would be like really difficult but then on the other hand I felt great on the run and also on the bike so I don't really know if the, this was the case but yeah, just the, the takeout speed was not there at all, and I lost the group after three, four hundred meters. I think if you too happy, <laughs> you're not a good athlete sometimes.